Uh, and breaking tonight, a 16 year old is dead after a shooting on the southeast side this afternoon. In the last 45 minutes, we learned the teen was found outside an apartment complex near Meridian and Epler Avenue and died at the hospital. Now tonight, unfortunately, that's not the only shooting we're tracking. Yeah, just hours ago, police found two people shot on the far east side of Indianapolis, and we just checked with IMPD. No word yet on their conditions. But one thing we do know is gun violence happens all too often in this city and in cities across the country. Our Rachel Krause is breaking down what's being done here in Indianapolis to curb this kind of crime. Three shootings sending four people to hospitals around Indianapolis Friday evening, all within three hours of each other. It's the latest in a streak of violent crime that's shaken many around Circle City in recent months. Well, any incident of gun violence is unacceptable in my mind. Sitting down with 13 News today, Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett says he understands that people are worried about Indy's violent streak. To those who uh, are concerned with good reason, uh, we are making progress. Uh, it's not a, an issue that occurred overnight. So it's not going to be resolved overnight. In fact, the truth is, city of Indianapolis, the homicide rate has been going steadily upward, really for the last 10 to 15 years. And Hawkset says they're taking steps to turn that trend around, getting more officers on the streets by raising pay and offering sign-on bonuses. The city is working to fill 200 open IMPD positions, but Hawkset says that's only part of the answer. The police department is reactive by nature. What we want are neighbors who know their neighborhoods better than anyone else to become actively involved in helping stop the crime before it happens. In 2021, he announced a violence reduction plan that included $45 million for community-based neighborhood crime prevention programs. And earlier this week, the city distributed $300,000 to groups working to combat crime before it happens. $45 million over a three-year period of time dedicated to community-oriented neighborhood groups that hopefully will go a long way toward preventing the violence from happening in the first place. More cops, more commitment, and more neighbors getting involved in keeping their neighborhoods safe. Cutting down on violent crime is no easy feat, Hogsett says, but he believes it's critical work for the city that can help to save lives. In Indianapolis, Rachel Krause, 13 News.